What's up everyone and welcome to this special unmodding episode of the Midnight Mod Garage and today we're going to be unmodding the IS-300 by way of removing the Razen pivot volt stabilizer and give you the rationale behind why one might install a volt stabilizer and the reason why we're removing it from the IS-300 today. So stay tuned, we're going to explain why and show you exactly how. So here's what the voltage stabilizer already installed looks like. It's a capacitor mounted to the side of the battery with a negative and positive terminal. The negative splices into other negatives that are mounted to key points throughout the engine bay. Now, it's important to note that the car's battery acts as its own voltage stabilizer, and here's how it works. Electricity is created by the alternator and used to power the car's electrical demands, lights, stereo, AC, etc. And the unused charge created by the alternator is then stored in the car's battery. This is why we say the alternator charges the battery. The basic idea behind a voltage stabilizer is that during periods of high draw on the car's battery, there will be fluctuations in voltage called electrical noise that a traditional lead-acid battery is not able to cope with efficiently. In theory, the use of a voltage stabilizer, which is a system of capacitors that switch the charge more rapidly, will eliminate these fluctuations. It's probably also worth noting that an Optima Blue Top battery is definitely overkill for the electrical needs of an IS-300. So the validity of these voltage stabilizers has been thoroughly tested by Import Tuner in a very well-written article called Voltage Stabilizers Can Increase Power and Torque Factor Fiction by Luke Minnell, who in turn sources SP Engineering for his data used in the article. The story here is that over a year ago we had fitted the Rasm Pivot Voltage Stabilizer to the IS-300, and in testing data according to the study in Import Tuner, this exact stabilizer kit is the only one in the testing field to actually lose power at the top of the rev range. That being said, other units tested in the same study showed negligible power gains that could not be distinguishable from standard variants. Now that's not to say that there are no benefits to be had from a voltage stabilizer being installed on your car. That is to say that for me, what little benefit there is does not outweigh the hideousness of the octo-wiring job necessary to run the thing. This episode of the Midnight Mod Garage was filmed before a live studio audience. 